When you want to build a website with Elementor and you want to add specific functions to your website or want to make uh, objects to have a specific uh, look or a specific behavior, then um, of course you could use the specific um, Elementor widget to perform the specific action or you can add the CSS code to this Elementor so that this specific element um, performs this specific um, action. But um, yeah, we can create Create our own Elementor widget. So um, if you have some specific functions that you use all the time and you don't want to add the CSS code all the time uh, manually, then I want to show you in this video how you can create your own Elementor widget with um, the help of our good old friend ChatGPT. <laughs> so this means, um, yeah, uh, ChatGPT can write the code for us to give us the code for this specific um, Elementor function that we want to have. And this is, yeah, this can be really funny because, yeah, you can create almost every um, widget for Elementor. Of course, you can, yeah, you can download um, the add-on package for Elementor but yeah from time to time um, there is not the right Elementor add-on widget package for you um, so this um, comes in really handy that you can create your own um, Elementor widget and this is what I want to show you in this video so um, yeah right now I am on a um, test website here and uh, yeah I opened already ChatGPT so I use the free version of ChatGPT. So you don't need to upgrade your, your ChatGPT version. So and for this example video, I made the following prompt here. So um, the prompt is please create a custom Elementor widget for an animated text and header. Uh, the widget should offer different text animation options and styles. Please include at least 10 different animations, include different CSS filters and animations, the text color, uh, pure text, gradient, etc. Text size and font family should also be adjustable. Please add a button for a loop function so that the, that the effect um, plays in a loop. Name this Elementor widget fancy text widget. Please give me the complete complete code for this widget. So then, um, yeah, let's press on send and yeah, let's see what ChatGPT will make out of our prompt here. And so yeah, here you can see now ChatGPT give us uh, gives us the instruction how we can um, use this. And yeah, this is uh, the complete or this is the code. And here we have um, what here is the PHP code. Here is uh, another PHP code for the class. And then let's go further down. And here you can see the CSS file. This is the CSS file. So, OK, yeah. And now you can see and here is the structure, how you can how you should uh, structure the code yeah and now we have to um, convert these code lines into actual files and this is yeah this is pretty easy so um, all we have to do is um, open uh, minimize this all we have to do now is um, open the open the text document um, put it on desktop new document okay there it is so and now here you can see um, this is a new text document I have and now I have to copy the whole code or copy the code from uh, the first PHP file and for this I just uh, simply click on copy code and then I go here and then I paste in the code and this is really important that you copy um, the exact text here the exact um, file name copy this and then we click on save and we want to save it on our desktop and then replace uh, this with our code and then we click on save perfect and then we make a new one new text document and we can close this and now we go to the uh, second code here's the second code class fancy widget uh, copy this paste it in here then we copy the file name and again we click on save put it in here save and then we make a new new one this now we have to uh, grab the css code oh, when i can there it is 
copy this and paste it in here. So, and then um, we click on save and then again, copy this. And now he asked me if I want to save it as CSS and uh, yeah, use CSS. Perfect. We close this. Okay, now we have um, our three files on the desktop. Yeah, and you can you can play around with this. You can uh, customize everything. Um, you can create your own widgets. So perfect. And now we have our three files. And um, now on Macintosh, um, I don't know how this is on Windows, but I think it's uh, almost the same. So I um, select all three files and then I right click and click on compress. So now I have a zip archive file. And uh, now the trick is that I um, rename the zip archive into um, our plugin name. So I copy the name of our plugin and rename the zip file. Okay, now here is the plugin zip file. And let's go to our WordPress website. Uh, go to plugins, add new plugin. Then we click on upload plugin, choose file yeah, from our desktop. There it is. Open, install now. Uh, activate the plugin. And here you can see, here's the, the plugin name. You can also um, uh yeah rename the uh, put in your name the author name and then you can make a description of the plugin and of course the version you can change the version number but yeah then let's go to the front end and let's go um, edit with elementor open a new tab and let's see if this plugin already works or this widget this elementor widget already works uh, let's close everything here and i use the normal version of uh, Elementor, I don't use the pro version. Um, this works with the pro version as well. So let's see, um, here it is, I already found it. So it's under basic uh, fancy text widget. Then um, yeah, let's put it in somewhere. Let's for the tests, uh, let's put it here. Uh, I think it doesn't matter. So let's grab it, let's put it in here. And yeah, here you can see the text. You can enter a text, I think test yeah fancy text test um here we have all the animations um fade bounce slip flip zoom rotate pop pulse flash rubber band typewriter uh rotate what's that oh <laughs> this looks good and here we have loop animation um so yeah then yeah then the animation um is in a loop and um, yeah, we can stop this. So then let's typewriter. Yeah, this is also, so it's a little bit wide. You can see um, when there is a problem with, with the um, function or with your, with your um, created widget, then of course you can um, fix it manually. If you understand a little bit of coding or a little bit of CSS, then of course you can fix it manually. If you don't understand coding or CSS, how this works, then yeah, you can um, put it into ChatGPT. You can go back to ChatGPT, tell ChatGPT exactly what's wrong, or if you want to add uh, more functions, or if you want to add more, in this case, more animations, for example, then yeah, you can tell this ChatGPT and um, tell ChatGPT that um, they should fix the code for you or that uh, ChatGPT should add this and that function. And then um, that uh, ChatGPT should print out the complete new code for you. And um, yeah, so then uh, let's explore this even more. So flash, what's that? Oh, that's that's cool so then um let's stop this and under style yeah you you can um, put in the code for a gradient so if you want to have this or we can choose the text color um yeah we can we can change the text color of course then the size and the, here we can choose uh the font family so for uh testing purposes let's make it this and yeah so this plugin works so and yeah you can play around with it so one thing i would um edit maybe is the animation speed um i would go back to ChatGPT and tell ChatGPT that um 
uh, we should add an option to fix the animation animation speed or um, put in that I have the option to um, put in a manual animation speed something like this so yeah and I think um, that's it for the video now you know exactly um, what you what you can do when you are searching for a specific elemental widget or how you can create your own customized um, elemental widget when you cannot find it in the um, yeah, uh, in, in an add-on, then you can um, create your own Elementor widget. And yeah, so I think that's it for the video. So if you have any questions, then put it in the comments down below. And I will upload this specific widget that we have created and will link to this uh, specific widget that you can, if you want to, can download it. And um, yeah, so, and also make sure to write in the comments um, what specific Elementor widget you would like to create or what elemental widget uh, you have created already and yeah so if you have any questions like i said put it in the comments down below and yeah so then um thank you very much for your time thank you for watching and also press the like button and also subscribe to my youtube channel yeah bye guys see you in the next video ciao